This is code.org. Great. Do the same thing with these circles. Each circle is made by moving one pixel before turning one degree 360 times. Each circle uh, begins just 60 pixels from the, where the last one ended. Wow. Can you imagine having to drag out all that code? Right? Move forward once, one degree, 360 times. Be a lot of code. Good thing we have loops. So we're definitely going to want to use a repeat. I'm going to grab move forward and do what it says. It says once. Okay? I'm going to attach my move forward here. I then want to set the degrees. Uh, and it looks like we're going towards the left, so I'll try this. And then I'm going to do repeat once just to try it. Let's see if we can see once. Doesn't look like it. All right. Um, let's go ahead then and see if we can see ah, 360. Ah, there we go. Except I see a problem. I think they want us to have it red, green, and blue. So, let's set it to red and try that again. Okay. Got one. Now we're going to want to jump. Or do we get to pick our colors? I think we get to pick our colors. Okay, good. And now we want to jump, and it said they're 50 apart, so I want to jump 50. I'm going to get rid of this. I want a random color. And now we have to do that. Ooh. And now I have five out of the six blocks of codes I need. Code I need. But I only have one circle. I'm now going to jump to the second one. But what could I do? I need to use a repeat for all four. Drop this in here, put this here, and put a number four. Because now I will repeat four times all of this code. And what was this code? This code was the one drawing the circle. So the computer says, okay, run. Four times run. Okay, pick a color. Now 360 times move forward, change one degree, zoop, forward one degree, forward one degree. It does that 360 times. Once it's done, it drops below it and says, okay, now jump forward 60 or 50. So I jump to the start of the next circle. I hit the bottom of this bigger loop now, and it goes, oh, run all this again. Zoop, and draws another circle. Let's test. Oh, awesome. So this is what was working for me. Make sure you're paying attention to these loops. And if you're stuck or confused, go back and watch this again. Having nested loops like this, we're going to make awesome games with it. All right, let's keep going.